troubles tonight for Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren. Today, state police executed a search warrant of her home. Jack Watson was on scene while police were there. He joins us now live from that area. Jack, what do we know? Adam, state police blocked off the road in either direction here so they could conduct an investigation at the home behind me, and they confirmed that this is the home of Mayor Lovely Warren. And a source also confirmed to News 8 that the mayor's husband is the target of the investigation. At the Rochester home of the Rochester mayor, state police orchestrate what they say is a criminal investigation. Troopers did not take questions, but provided a handful of details about what was going on. I'll confirm it is the residence of uh, City of Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren, and it's an ongoing investigation. When News 8 arrived on scene, roughly a dozen state troopers were in the area. Authorities seen carrying out a large bin and bags out of the home. The on-scene presence lasting several hours into the early evening. Neighbor Mel Brooks lives just down the way from the mayor and came out to see the commotion. I saw a bunch of state police cars up over in the mayor's house. They're always, you know, nice to me, so I'm nice to them. State police left the scene around 7 at night after being on scene for several hours. The mayor herself did not give a statement Wednesday evening. However, the city communications director issued a statement saying, quote, The mayor is just learning about the events that unfolded this afternoon and has no more information than the rest of the community. She hopes to learn more details this evening and will have a statement tomorrow. Well, Adam Maureen, still a lot more that we don't know about this. Still plenty of questions out there. We are hoping to learn more tomorrow, including that statement from the mayor. We will, of course, keep track of it here on News 8 and our website, rochesterfirst.com. But for now, live in Rochester, Jack Watson, News 8. All right, Jack, thank you. Once again, it's not clear why the mayor's husband, Timothy Granison, is under investigation. But it's not the first time he's been in trouble. In 1997, when he was 17 years old, Granison pleaded guilty and received probation in connection to an armed robbery. Police say he drove the getaway car. On the day she was sworn into office in 2014, Mayor Warren addressed her husband's past. I've often talked about the fact that I'm not far removed from the challenges that many of our Rochesterians face. Um, and the statement about my husband, you know, he was a juvenile and, and made a stupid decision listening to, um, you know, peer pressure. Um, many of our children that live in our city every day uh, face those decisions and those challenges. I say that I don't want you to commit those crimes, but if you so happen to do that, you may not be as lucky as he was. You may not be able to uh, redeem yourself and be given a second chance. Now, whatever comes of this investigation, it's the latest in a series of episodes to dog Warren over the last year. Back in September, we learned about the Daniel Prude case months after his death. And while Warren was fending off accusations of a cover-up, she was indicted on campaign finance fraud charges, felony charges. The Monroe County DA saying tonight that today's scene was not related to those charges. Now here we stand a month out from the primary election vote that will decide if Rochester Democrats want Lovely Warren or Malik Evans to be the city's next mayor. We'll have to wait and see what happens. We'll keep you updated over at rochesterfirst.com.